guys, Sophia Persephone here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the specific birds which are associated with each of the 10 senior members of the Council of Light. Now this is important at the moment because the universe is sending more and more signs at this time of global awakening uh, and especially to people who are already in the process of awakening or whose conscious awakening is drawing near. So if you are seeing synchronicities around specific birds, they will either represent the branch of the soul tree that you are descended from, so that, that member of the Council of Light, or they could represent your primary guide or a guide who is important for you at this moment in time. And what you'll be seeing most of all at the moment is birds associated with Om, Sophia, Freya, Isis, and Michael. These are, these are the five... Um, members of the Council of Light who are most active at the moment because they're driving forward this project towards global enlightenment. So let's talk about Ohm. Ohm's birds are the dove and the pigeon. So Ohm represents ultimate compassion and the dove as I'm sure you know has a long tradition uh, associated with that particular quality but also pigeons because pigeons are everywhere um, and Ohm is everywhere. He, he and Sophia are very much spearheading the overall Earth project, so they've been involved with this thing right from the start. Um, and, and also, Ohm's very egalitarian. He very much is in the tradition of um, we are all equal, as all of, the, all of the senior members of the Council of Light are, but is particularly strongly associated with Ohm. Um, and of course, pigeons represent that kind of uh, lowest common denominator in the bird world. They really are everywhere, wherever you are. Then on to Sophia. So Sophia uh, in Greek mythology, when she, when she incarnated at that time, a different time in the Earth's history, was the goddess of wisdom. And her bird is the owl, for obvious reasons, and particularly the snowy owl. Um, and it's very interesting because uh, someone I was coaching not that long ago told me that they were starting to receive images of a large snowy owl sort of swooping at them uh, whilst they were in trance. And it was interesting because I knew she wasn't descended from the Sophia branch of the soul tree, but she was getting this synchronicity. And that was because Sophia was guiding her at that time or someone, someone from the branch of the, the Sophia branch of the tree. So look out for owls, look out for doves and pigeons, they're around a lot at the minute. Another bird that you will see a lot of right now is the crow. Now the crow and the magpie are associated with Isis. Isis is all about um, the, the spiritual and mystical side of life. So at this time of transformation, this whole kind of waking up bit of it, that is Isis's uh, project, that's her baby, that's what she's looking after. So. I've heard of a lot of people seeing crow synchronicities recently. In fact, I've gotten a lot of them myself um, to the extent that one person I know actually went and got a crow tattoo. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's a lot of crows around. Um, also, Freya. Freya's bird is the eagle. I actually live, live here high in the mountains uh, in southern Spain and I quite often see eagles come and particularly if I'm having a bit of a dip one will sort of seem to appear and hover looking for some prey and that of course is a sign of encouragement. Now if you live in a part of the world where it's not easy to see an eagle of course all of these signs can come in multiple ways. You don't have to see the actual bird, you can see an image in a book um, on television, someone might have a logo on a t-shirt, you just need to be sort of aware and alert to, to the symbols that are around you because the universe uses symbols all the time to, uh, to encourage us and move us forward. So that's Freya. Now Michael. Um, Michael's an interesting one because he's got several birds and what they basically are often are small domestic birds. So the sparrow, robins, um, starlings, also bluebirds. All of these are associated with Michael. Now Michael takes on a protective role um, during transformation and I know a lot of people, myself included, when they're in the early stages of awakening, when they start, they're having lots of visions, um, you know, they're sort of going out of body a lot. They're often very aware that Michael is present and Michael takes care of people as they go out of body, especially if they're going further than they have been 
uh, used to go before. So the fact that he has these little birds that are everywhere re represents the fact that he is also everywhere. Um, let's talk about Agamemnon. Agamemnon is very interesting because we're moving out of an Agamemnon phase. So he represents masculinity, the patriarchy, if you like, uh, leadership as well, governments, especially authoritarian go governments. Um, his bird is the hawk. And what's happening is, is uh, and you can see it happening in world events, as his influence starts to decline and, and, and um, you know, these other five uh, members of the Council of Light, their project starts to, to grow and take hold. Um, we'll see sort of less and less of those symbols, but I have been seeing a few of them recently. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so you might do too. So hawks, falcons as well for Agamemnon. Um, Mammon also, uh, who looks after banking, finance, money, barter, all of those things. Um, his bird is the peacock. And that makes perfect sense if you think about it, because um, uh, he's all about display and show um, and sort of the material things of life, the showy things of life. So uh, his bird is the peacock. Then um, let's talk about Saturn. Now, we don't see Saturn um, and Shakti, who are uh, sort of down at the lower end of the hierarchy. Their mission was quite some time ago because uh, Saturn is all about um, agriculture, farming, husbandry, sort of people having the tools to look after themselves. And obviously that was a phase that we went through uh, a long time ago. Um, his bird is a sort of domestic fowl. So geese, chickens in particular, those are both associated with Saturn. Um, and then for Shakti, who looks after religion, so religious belief, doctrine, and especially sort of inflexible doctrine, if you like, her bird is the parrot. So that kind of the, the sort of the very brightly colored parrots. Um, and then finally, Lucifer, and I'm going to leap right in here and defend Lucifer because he's got a very bad reputation. Um, and that is, there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is that he looks after a special team who, who are, who come and incarnate or, or work from the higher dimensions to give us challenges to push against. It's what they've been asked to do. It's their job. We have to have those challenges because without them, we can't learn and grow. So he leads that team. And obviously because of that, he's become associated with this reputation of devilment, etc. And it couldn't be further from the truth, although he does have a stroke of arrogance about him. Sorry, Lucifer. Um, anyway, his bird is the blackbird. Black fairly obvious but also because of the song um, because Lucifer um, when the universe was being built and everything was sort of being put into place he was in charge of music so all of the other arts the visual arts live with Freya um, and writing lives with Sophia but uh, music lives with Lucifer so so the blackbird is his bird so I hope that helps and if you are seeing synchronicities I'd love to hear about it Please just uh, tell me all about it in the comments below.